Welcome to another video by the Money Bag Report. My name is Stefan. I have this article to share with you guys about what happened yesterday about the president signing the stimulus bill. And this article is about the Gateway Pundit. And I want to share with you guys what are what do they have to say about um, our president signing the stimulus bill and what and what kind of effect is that going to have for us in our economy. Okay, the article saying, the headline saying, in signing the C-19 relief bill, President Trump redlined a bill requesting an increase of benefit to $2,000 Section 230 terminating, terminated or revised an investigation into that word right there. I'm, I'm not inclined to say it because of what's going on in this platform to be performed. Okay, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Okay, as the news and signing coming to light, we see the president use a decade-old piece of legislative to make edit to the bill and required additional action from Congress. The president released a statement along with signing the bill. Emphasis ours. Okay, as president, quoting, I'm talking around the perspective of our president right now. As president, I have told Congress that I want to, I want far less wasteful spending and more money going to the American people, in the form of two thousand dollar checks per adult and six hundred dollars for children. As president, I am demanding many recession, under, imp impoundment. Control Act of nineteen seventy four. The act provides that whether. Whenever the president determined that all part of the budget authority will be required to carry out in full objective or scope of the program for which it is provided that such budget authority should be rescinded by fiscal policy and other reason including termination of unauthorized project or activity of which budget active authority has been provided. The president shall transmit both House of Congress and special message describing the amount to be revised, reserved, excuse me, the relevant account, the reason for the recession, recession, I guess that's how I pronounce it, and the economy effect of the recession to USC Penal Code 683. I will sign an omnibus bill and COVID package with a strong message that made clear to Congress that wasteful items need to be re removed. I will send back to Congress a, re a red line version, item by item, accompanied by a formal recession request to Congress, insisting that funds be removed from the bill. I am signing this bill to restore unemployment benefit to stop eviction, providing rental assistance, add money to PPP, return our airline workers to work, back to work, and substantially, add substantially, substantially more money for vaccine distribution and more, and much more. I'm sorry about that, guys. It's raining around. If you can hear over the microphone, right now it's raining in Southern California. All right? But I'm trying to make it unless noisy as possible. But let's carry on. On Monday, the House will vote to increase the payment to an individual for $600 to $2,000. Therefore, a family of four would receive 5200 5, additionally. Congress have promised that Section 230, which, you, which so unfairly benefits big tech at the expense of American, will be reviewed either by terminated or Substantially in reform. Substantially reform. Likewise, the House and Senate have agreed to focus on strongly on the very substantial voter fraud which took place in November 3rd presidential election. The Senate will start the process for vote that increased checks to $2,000, repealing two Section 230, Section 230, and start an investigation into into voter fraud. Big tech must not get protection under Section 230. Voters' fraud must be fixed. Much more money coming. I will never give up and fight for American people. And that's what the president had to say.
according to this article. So basically, the, the bill had a veto-proof majority in the House and Senate, so this was one opportunity for the president to highlight needed changes to the, gar to the garbage bill. Okay? I'm kind of in between about this, right? One, on one hand, he, he's ordering Congress to, um, to um, recede all wasteful spending. That's good because it eliminates more money into the market. On the other hand, it's still spending money, still spending money, putting out more money. But the thing is, I, I don't mind spending money for to help the people out. But yet again, on another hand, when there's more money in the system, it's devaluing the dollar. It's like a double-ended sword, all right? It's like, yeah, it's a double-ended sword. It's like, okay, you, you spend, you don't, pr you don't print money, you're hurting the people. If you print, mon you print more money, you're devaluing the dollar. And what people are, are neglect to see is that they're not looking at it in the long run. Sure, you get your money right now, but in the long run, your dollar will have have less spending power. That means that if ten dollar will get you a full tank, right, of gas. Later on in the future, ten dollar will give you will give you half a tank of gas. All right, I'm trying to make it more easy for people to understand what happened when you devalue the dollars. Your your dollar will go. Will go short, short, a shorter distance. That's what it is. That's what that's what happened when we print more money, and I'm kind of in between. It's like, okay, do we print more money to help the people, or do you want to educate the people the negative side of printing more money? Like, okay, right now you're suffering, but do do you want to continue the suffering into the future, or you or just suffering for the moment, right? And not a lot of people have have a lot of knowledge to financial to the finance and the market so it's hard you're you're on the you're on two to end of the coin right now all right do you spend more money but you know if the market collapse when, when the market collapse what it's doing right now in the, another article that i read is that it, it is boosting cryptocurrency and i don't know guys i'm in between about this but it's a, it's a hard is a hard position to stand on. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, do you print out more money, or to to avoid economic collapse, or do you not print more money? But in a way, if you, if you don't print out more money, more business will coll will will collapse on itself, and that will lead to another economic collapse. But. Let me know what you think, guys. Leave your message on, on, a, on a comment below. Like, share, subscribe. And let me know what you think. Um, this is the Money Bag Report. This is a neutral. We take neutral stances. We're only reporting the market right now. But let me know what you think. This is Stefan. You can find me on Parlor. And that's it. I'm not on any other platform to let you guys know. I'm only on Parlor right now. Because for some reason they're being too strict on other on the other platform, especially on this platform, I have to speak for future references. If I say something in in another language or another in another vocab, that means we're speaking in code. Because some some words are not permissible on this platform. So to let you guys know in advance. But anyway, this is Stefan. Thank you for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. This is the Money Bag Report.